Hello and welcome to Be Made in Revit tutorials. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to make these presentations of elevation views and how to position to the uh, detail items such as to the trees behind of the of your project. As you know uh, from annotation, you can choose to the details such as to the trees but when we place them on the drawings they cover our projects and in this tutorial i would like to show you one very simple method how to position them behind of the of of your project uh, we we can press from here you can see from here from annotation details we can select the 2d trees and we can place them on the drawings but as you can see they cover our project and that's something we don't want to happen uh, when we press this send to back and send to front this uh, affects only to the details uh, detail items but uh, won't affect your project your model as you can see the trees are still here and from here now i will show you how to choose that problem we are going to sheet uh, and now this is our elevation view we will duplicate it duplicate it with the details and on this uh, elevation view we will using visibility setting graphics we will deselect everything beside the detail items and uh, this background is a photo uh, that i insert all right and on this duplicated elevation view we will leave trees and background photo and from here i will i will delete these trees by selecting them isolating them and deleting them now i will undo the selection tool and from here i will uh, i will deselect this background photo because we have it on our duplicated view and first on sheet first we will position our duplicated view all right here we have trees and background photo and then we will place on sheet we will place our original elevation view where our uh, model is visible as you know the latest uh, drawing positioned on sheet will be visible and uh, the latest drawing will cover the drawing uh, that's positioned before it so as you can see our trees now are behind of the our uh, house here and using this uh, override tool we can change the colors of these trees all right now i will choose the color something like this i will change the color of this tree also in the same way all right that's it uh, we can create we can create the family with the color we want but sometimes we need to change the, uh, that color so this is be perhaps the easiest way i will change the color of this tree also and that's it all right and now i will show you how to add silhouettes of birds using text font where every letter is uh, some bird silhouette so i will show you the method how to add them using text tool from here i will draw the few letters here all right 
I will move them uh, pressing the enter so our uh, sil bird silhouette will be visible and from here we choose this bird of the weather and as you can see the bird silhouettes appear now pressing enter I move them down so uh, silhouettes will be visible completely and from here I will change the the size of the silhouettes all right you can change the color also they can be black or gray grease better maybe and that's it dear friends we can change the uh, color of the material uh, of the walls if you want to make any presentation changing colors as you can see this is something like this you can color change color or even you can change the pattern all right you can change it using uh, overwrite tool and from here you can change the colors of these walls all right and dear friend that's it for this tutorial tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and to share my words with your friends and colleagues see you in the next tutorial